Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I love all things planner and self-care related. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss new content. Y'all, today is a big day. I'm super excited for this. My Black Friday order finally arrived yesterday and I was so happy because I really wanted to unbox this for you all for this video. And I have not only one, but two boxes of goodies. I'm very excited. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm very excited. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, I was super patient yesterday. I told myself, you know what, let's just wait to unbox this or to open the box. So I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when I opened the box and saw this really beautiful dust bag. It says you deserve luxury. The luxury is italicized and it's this beautiful silver, very Beyonce Renaissance-esque dust bag. And I know for sure I'm gonna keep this. Um, I typically do keep the dust bags, not all of them, just some of them to store inserts. That's kind of how I've been storing inserts lately so that I can just quickly grab the bag, pull out what I need for the next planning session and move on. This one, however, I'm gonna have to find a special use for it. Maybe makeup if I'm ever traveling or the next time I travel, um, or even just like something to throw in one of my purses, the kind of bigger ones to kind of have like the cosmetics and the other little small things that tend to get lost in a purse because this is absolutely gorgeous. It's smooth to the touch. As you can see, it's almost like lined. And it's not a ton of texture to it, but you can feel like slight ridges. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. There's nothing on the back except for the new cloth and paper logo. And that seems to be stitched into it. This is really gorgeous. I'm really proud of the team. Okay, there is so much to unbox here. I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with this. So I have been kind of chatting about how I couldn't find my washi tape from cloth and paper and i don't really use washi tape a lot however if you've seen the beginning of my planner recently you know that i like to store a planner card right at the front just for a little pop of color and i really like this especially against the all black and white and the gray dashboard so i told myself you know what i think the washi tape was last call so i told myself let me grab some so let me pause open this up and just show you the colors quickly okay so we have three washi tapes here this is kind of the tan color it's called crepe in the cloth and paper land here's cortado and this is cotton in a lot i don't know how to say that i didn't take french um but it's kind of like this cross very symmetrical pattern so i don't know if you can get a really good look at those but they're really nice and like i said i don't use washi tape often but because it was last call i just told myself you know what grab it i know we will at least use it for decorative elements so for me a win is a win next up are the three pens that i picked up one is a kokuyo pen y'all know this is one of my top favorites along with the hisu gel pen and slowly the blend pen i think i talked about that last time how bold it is again it's been my go-to for at least a couple planning sessions now so it's not going anywhere for sure but i had to pick up kokuyo i picked up this uniball 1.5 gel pen uh from it says Mitsubishi Pencil Co. Limited. It has a really nice grip to it, and I just thought, you know what, I, I'm really feeling the all-white barrel pens right now, clearly. So I figured I would pick that one up and add it to my collection as well. Last pen that I picked up was this Uni White pen, and you'll see why later. I promise it'll make a little bit more sense, but it is like a very white, bold, um, I don't know if you would call it a gel pen. Let's see. What do they call it? it? It's kind of like a gel pen, but maybe more on the marker side. We'll explain more later. Next up from this planner haul was this really beautiful notepad. I don't think this was last call. I don't, I'll have to check that, but I thought it was a really good notepad, great size and quick and easy to grab to write a quick to-do list. I was thinking about this for content particularly. Sometimes I'll sit down, I know I have some content to plan and think out. And of course I have my planner, but it'll be nice to kind of put the planner away, have my iPad up, cause I like to kind of watch things and listen to podcasts while I'm creating content, 
have my laptop and then have something a little smaller that I can look at. So this I know will, I will get great use out of it. It's pretty practical. Um, so I feel like those more practical things I get a lot of use out of. Last up, I will not take this out the package cause it's pretty straightforward, but these are the coffin paper um, side tabs or dividers rather in black so you probably think that's a little repetitive it definitely is but if you look at my planner right now I have the white ink ones very beautiful very on point for kind of the style I have right now but I decided to get black so I can interchange them as I please and it'll make more sense when I unbox some of the other stuff but I won't take this out like I said at least not right now um, but this is just something to give me a little bit more flexibility with the dividers in my planner. Okay, so let's move on to the goodies that are in this beautiful, beautiful dust bag. So let's start with the thickest one. Oh, this thing is thick, y'all. So I got the 2024 Vertical Weekly Lined Monday Start, of course. I think y'all are probably tired of hearing me complain about that. The inserts for coffin paper for my half letter. Let's get this open and we can walk through some of the changes. Okay, so this is the beginning page of the inserts. A really beautiful dashboard. It's not like super thick. It's definitely the insert paper, but I feel like the image on there is definitely bolder than what we've seen from them in the past. So I really do like this. And again, it's pretty neutral aesthetic, can go for any time of the year. So we have the This Planner Belongs To page. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is about the same. Let me grab my planner and confirm that with you all. Oh, I had to flip a lot of pages to find this. That's really funny. Um, so yeah, no changes there. It just says name, address, phone number, email, and a little memo line for you to write on. And as you can see, my handwriting's so big that I need a little more space than that, but it seems like it's about the same. So I'll have to be sure to write a little bit smaller this year. Let's stick that to the side. Okay, so we have a year at a glance. This looks pretty standard. I don't see any major changes on here. We have the holidays and observances. Wow, March has quite a bit, especially compared to the other months. Then we have a kind of like that repetitive um, quote page that is at the beginning of their planner inserts um, for 2023 as well. So this is not unfamiliar. January says, if you want, to have more, you have to become more. If you want things to change, you have to change. And if you want to get better, you have to get better. If you want things to improve, you have to improve. When you grow, everything grows for you. And then it repeats. So I like that, actually. I'm wondering if I can help the quote stand out a little bit more. Let's find the beginning around here if you want to have more that's kind of where it starts if you want to have more you have to become more i'm debating whether to just highlight one big paragraph or kind of highlight all across the insert let's try highlighting across the insert so we have the more sentence then if you want things to change you have to change Okay, so I highlighted all of the um, one, two, three, five sentences in the quote itself. So I like it. I think it helps it stand out. I think for February, I would probably try to highlight the quote all together and just kind of see what I like better. So here is the dashboard page. It looks like there were not many changes here. I don't really use this. You already know why, so we won't go over that. And I do know that they made these longer, I think. Is it longer? Let's pull out the current one. Okay, yes. So these are smaller in square right now. It's almost like a perfect square, right? These are more rectangular. 
it's definitely more rectangular and then there's no more important dates and notes at the bottom that's how they were able to make the boxes a little longer how do we feel about this how do we feel i feel like i'm gonna give it a try when it's time to plan for january um just to see how my planning style works with it but let me know your thoughts below that's a really interesting change okay so after the monthly page we have two pages of notes which is nice that'll be a great space for important dates any affirmations any things you need to track monthly like a monthly to-do list i think that's a great use for that and of course really no changes here either let me just open a page to confirm with you all yeah this looks pretty much the same we have the monday start ones right here we have the task list over here on the left page but I love this layout. I'm okay with no changes here, y'all. I have to be honest with you. I think this layout works really well for me. Just enough space for a to-do list every day. And then at the end of the page is the notes pages. So really, it seems like the biggest change came with the monthly layout. That change, removing the important dates and notes. And the boxes are longer. All right, so yeah. I'm glad that I got these um, to plan for next year in 2024 okay so i won't take these out these are the 2024 dated monthly monday start inserts it's just the month with note pages i got this because lately and i think i alluded to this last video i have been using a monthly layout just to map out my paychecks and the bills that are due for each paycheck so that is what is in the last divider section of my planner i don't really show that often but that has been working really well for me for the last two or so paychecks that i have planned out on paper i'm still trying to figure out how i incorporate sort of the daily spending tracker i use that um i use like a digital planner for that really a spreadsheet so I think that's kind of how I'm gonna move forward with financial planning for next year. So I just picked up these month, monthly Monday start inserts so that I can, again, continue to track the paychecks and the bills doing each day, and then use the spreadsheet for daily spending. Okay, so these are the final few things in that beautiful, beautiful dust bag. We have the year at a glance for 2024 in the vellum. I like to have this, yes, it's a little repetitive, but I like to keep this in my planner as well. So I picked that up. It seems to be about the same, maybe a little thinner to be honest with you, but I don't need it to be, you know, super thick in the planner anyway. So I'm not upset with that. Then I grabbed a today divider in black ink again. I'm trying something different in 2024 and just want to have more options so black ink it is and i can't find my white ink one actually so i was really happy to pick this up again because while i do have quite a few um, sticky notes on the side and um, paper clips up here i don't know how well you can see that sometimes it's just annoying to not open up to like the first or the page um, that i'm using in my planner for our daily planning so right now you know, I will kind of have to flip through and find like, okay, where is, where am I at currently in the planner? So I like the fact that I will be able to look at the top, go to the today tab divider and just pull that out. Okay. Two really fun things that I grabbed this time around were these beautiful arrow flags. I just really loved that really cool design down here. I'm really into art. I love going to museums and looking at paintings and different art forms. And this reminded me of like some modern expressionist. I don't even know if I'm in the right era of paintings. <laughs> so forgive me if I'm not, but I just really loved this last one. Of course, I know I'll get good use out of those as well because they're very neutral, but I have to grab this. I just thought it was too beautiful not to grab. And I'm really excited to plan with those. This is why I grabbed that white marker. So let's pick this back up and open it quickly. Okay, so I took the plastic covering off on camera i'm going to shake this up i figured that if there was some liquid ink in there i don't know if you can hear that a little asmr there but this is the reason why i picked up this white pen i picked up these avant-garde sticky notes they are not transparent they are paper it's definitely a little on the thinner side i would say maybe even thinner than the typical paper right here let me just compare it quickly 
it's about the same. I would say the avant-garde ones are a little darker. Oop, okay, maybe I haven't done this well enough yet. Okay. Oh, okay, well, maybe I should have read the instructions first. You're supposed to shake it, press up and down, and then write. Okay, so let's shake it. Then you kind of, there we go. Okay, testing. One, two, three. It's definitely giving me marker vibes, which I typically don't like, but I think you kind of need on something like this. And I haven't run out of ink yet after giving it a good shake. So I like this, I think it's different and I don't know how often I'll use it, but it was something that caught my eye. Don't be like me, read the instructions first if you um, decide to get this, but let me know your thoughts. If you already have this or already use the avant-garde sticky notes, what are your thoughts on this? I think it's cute and different. Okay, y'all, that was everything that was in the first box. Remember, there were two boxes that came. Now, this second box, there's only one item in there. You probably already know what it is, but I'm really excited about this after giving it much thought because I wanted to be intentional about what I am purchasing, I finally made the decision to execute and I'm really excited to unbox it. So drum roll please. Look at this beauty y'all, look at this beauty. So the cover comes in this beautiful box I would say and it's definitely protective. It's very smooth, it says made in Spain, it has a cloth and paper logo. I don't know if you will call this embossed but it's definitely um, shinier than the remainder of the box. Here's what the slides look like. They have it so that it doesn't close all the way and it makes it easy to open, very easy. And I think this is a good keepsake. So if you do decide to purchase, I would not throw this box out. But let's open it and see what's inside. Okay, so first up we have this beautiful kind of glass plastic car from cloth and paper it says to have and to keep genuine genuine leather goods made in spain just for you from the heirloom collection it has cloth and papers establishment date and their place of their location which is richmond virginia then we have the certificate of authenticity so it just shows you your item number and it says your purchase is one of a kind built to last cloth and paper please constructed mindfully in Spain of the highest quality genuine leather. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I have given this a lot of thought. I did not execute on this when the heirloom collection first dropped because I wanted to be intentional about it. I wanted to see how other people were using it. Is it something that I think I will get a lot of use out of? And more importantly, like what color I want, because all the colors are very neutral, beautiful and aesthetic. And I don't know, I just knew that it was a larger purchase. So I did not want to just pick anything. Oh my gosh. So as soon as I opened up that last kind of protective covering, the smell just gets you automatically. It is definitely like a genuine leather smell. Give me one second. Oof, okay, it smells so good. <laughs> It smells so, so, so good. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'm just taking a few moments to really appreciate this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's super soft. You can tell it's genuine leather. Absolutely gorgeous. So immediately on the left side, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card slots. I usually use these for like decorative elements. Just kind of feel how deep they are. This is probably the deepest one here, yeah. So on the left side is a card that kind of explains how to take care of it. So it talks about what leather it is, and then they give you some leather care tips on the back. So their heirloom collection, I'm pretty sure this is with every single um, heirloom collection product that you get, but 
They, it comes with a complimentary back cover. So it says, interested in using this folio for a half letter dismount system. Oh, that's me. You need this back cover. Want to learn more about our custom planning systems in half letter? Explore the possibilities at clothandpaper.com. So let me get this opened. Okay, so a really big selling point for me is the fact that the heirloom collection comes with a pen loop. I have been sick of carrying around pens and losing pens and just kind of wanting to pick up my planner and go, but not have to worry about where the pen is. I think I mentioned this maybe two or three videos back that I was thinking about looking for a pen loop. And I just thought, you know what? I was already thinking about this planner anyway. This planner has a pen loop and now I feel like I have a complete collection. So let me put my planner in here and then we can kind of walk through my thoughts. Okay, so here is the planner inside. One thing that I already knew I would have to grapple with is the size of my disc. So as y'all know, I use probably some of the largest discs out there. I think this is one and a half if I'm not mistaken. But we just cleaned my planner out last week or a couple of videos ago and I don't use a lot of this, right? Like a lot of it is, especially in the notes and list section, it's like podcast notes back here, which is great, but I don't really reference them that much, right? Like I keep it and if I'm kind of in a content stump, I will reference them to kind of just get my brain moving and kind of give myself a little encouragement, but I don't really use those a lot. The only thing that really needs to be in the back of the planner, so in the finance section is monthly tabs and really the bulk of the planner is the schedule section so i don't need these size discs and that's important because that does not fit in here <laughs> um i think these are one and a half they might be one and a quarter but as you can see it's like way too big for it i already knew that coming in i have just been kind of taking my time on figuring out what company I want to get smaller ones from. Do I want to go gold? Do I want to go black since they have the black ink? I have no idea at this point. I'm still trying to keep my options open. So if you have any recommendations for where you get your planner disc, let me know. I did share in last week's email newsletter. If you haven't joined that, definitely could give it some consideration. I did share a company that has all of these beautiful different discs. I mean, I saw like wooden inspired discs and clear. I saw gold, all these different colors. So I think I want to execute on that and use that company. If I can remember the name of the company, I'll put it below. If not, um, I'll check my email so I can send that out to you all and add it below. But yeah, I just, I figured that this was like the next best move for me. Paring down my planner, getting rid of things that I just keep in there for nostalgia purposes. I'm really thinking about those podcast notes here and I'm not gonna throw anything away, right? Like those podcast notes are very valuable, but I need to be realistic and store them away. I can access them when I need to, but really like 2024 is all about getting back to the basics of planning and really falling in love with planning again to the point where it's like glued to my hip, right? Right now, I wasn't really in that era of life you know with moving and the trips to boston and new york and lisbon it was just a lot going on but i think this is the last step necessary for me to get back to planning how i used to so stay tuned there's definitely more to come on that front that was all i had in the hall but we are going to do a plan with me of course for the upcoming week so let me know in the comments below if you got anything in this last kind of Black Friday season, um, Cyber Monday season, let me know what you bought. I decided to be way more intentional this year and just not buy things because they were last call, right? I am definitely leaning towards shopping my stash more often and just being more intentional about planning and not planning for the sake of planning, but planning and using all of the items that I have with a little bit more intention and purpose. So. Definitely excited about that. Um, I picked up Kokuyo, but let's be real. I wanna go back to the blend pen. And I wanna grab this to confirm what the days of the week will be. So we have the 11th through the 15th. Let me know below we all have planned for this week. To be honest, as I think, 
I don't know what I have planned. I don't think it's a lot, to be honest. This is 16th and the 17th, and then we'll have the 18th through the 24th. I was gonna write 26, so I'm glad I looked. I know that week I will have some PTO, which I'm super, super excited for. Um, y'all, do I not have like anything set in stone for that week? What? Okay, hold on. Hold on, because that can't be true. Oh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, well, the weekly admin planning session will be a little short because there is absolutely nothing I have planned this week. This day is my dad's birthday, so we'll just write that. Oh, wow. This is really weird to not have like anything to write out. I'm not mad at it though. I'm not mad at all. So I don't mind this because I know on the 15th, as far as like work is concerned, um, a lot of my team is off. So my coworkers would be off. I think my manager is off. So it'll be a little bit of a stressful day, but knowing that this week is kind of empty and then leading up to a full week of PTO, I'm not mad at it at all. I'm not mad at all. I don't have anything else to write for weekly admin. That was super short. Easiest planning session ever. So what we'll do here is um, write out the to-dos, get my dad's birthday written out. I like this. I like this a lot. So personally, there was a lot going on this week, um, which makes me super excited to have this week of nothingness, for the lack of a better word, because I need it. I really do need it. Um, it'll be nice to not have to do much after work as far as work or you know meetings, other obligations are concerned. I know that Friday is payday, so we'll write that below. As far as a to-do list is concerned, I'm a little hesitant to write the full list because I have a lot of free time today. I am going to a ugly Christmas sweater fundraiser this evening. The sweater that I chose is actually not really all that ugly. It has like these cute little champagne flutes on it, but um, it's Christmas Eve, so we're gonna go for it. But I have that this evening. I have a surprise party this evening. And then tomorrow, Sunday, the day this video drops, I'm going to brunch. So a lot going on, but um, I don't have to go shopping. I don't have to watch my nephew. So I know I'll get a lot done today and tomorrow. So I don't know if I want to do the to-do list today. Let's at least write what I know I'll say for next week, which is my personal goals. I will say um, I really want to give thought to my word of the year. I feel like a lot of this stuff too will happen during my week off because you know I just won't have to like get up and do things. Um, I really want to finalize some New Year's Eve plans. Last year we spent it in Niagara Falls and it was okay. It just wasn't like the best evening ever. And then we ended up going to the casino, like the oddest, weird, oddest thing ever. Um, and I want to finish a book. I know that for sure. I've been on this like super fast reading kick lately and by that I mean just like forcing myself to read morning, evening, and right when I get home from work to so try to like really get through my TBR list. So honestly, I'll, I think I'm going to stop there because I want to see what I can get done over these next few days. Of course, though, we're going to grab a highlighter 
and highlight the headings and the dates. I'm pausing because I feel like this is going to smear. Mm, I'm gonna love it. Okay, it's uh, mm, <laughs> it's not my favorite. That blend pen is just so freaking bold that I'm not really surprised that this happened. But we're just gonna go with it because it's not terrible and I'm just trying to do it lightly so there's minimal smearing. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, that was like the shortest planning session ever, but that's what happens when you don't have a lot going on. We love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep you all updated on the new discs I decide to purchase. I think I'm gonna go for a one inch size or maybe, I think 0.75 would be a little too small for me if I'm being transparent. So I'm gonna be looking for one inch and you know, maybe three quarters and, and see what, where I go from there and I can return what doesn't work for me. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the products you've seen in today's video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.